Student solutions may involve the presentation of data based on location. And there are a range of digital technologies that they can learn to assist with this. Students can map geographic information onto digital maps, showing the locations they went to on holidays, their selections for the wonders of the world, the location of visitors to websites, or through the recording of location, um, their mobile devices, their robots or drones. And Google Maps and Google Earth provide many levels of functionality in exploring the use of geospatial data. Students can explore the different types of information presented, but also add their own information. And this information can then be shared. The locations where data samples have been collected, the places where school sports have been played, or a school trip is planned. And students can explore the algorithms built into these tools to enable them to work out distances between points, uh, the travel time by different methods, the traffic data collected by mobile devices to show in real time where congestion is occurring. <coughs> the exploration of this provides students with examples of how they can use geospatial data in the solution of their own problems and how these can be linked to data collections that they make themselves or by using available data sets such as linking to the crime data available for their neighbourhood to find the safest paths to school. A great example of this was the bushfires that occurred in Australia a few years ago. Google Maps developed out of, are developed out of their Sydney office and seeing the widespread confusion occurring with the hundreds of fires spreading across the country, a team of Google programmers got together over a weekend programmed an overlay to Google Maps that showed where fires had been reported and evacuation alerts issued. And very quickly, having seen a problem, developed a solution. One that could be done by students studying digital technologies. The technology and programming were reasonably simple. It was in understanding what the technology could do and having the confidence to put that knowledge into action was what made the difference. Now, students can also take mapping data and use mobile devices to make their interactions with geospatial data more complex. Using, using augmented reality apps, for example, they can program their mobile devices to respond to triggers, um, actions to occur when their mobile device is in a particular location, as determined by the GPS and Wi-Fi signals that they have on their devices. Uh, and this could result in playing a video, showing a website, or just displaying text or even sending it an SMS message. Now, a wide range of, other, of actions can be triggered as a result of the location, and students can incorporate these into their solutions to problems, such as a self-guided interactive tour of the school for new students or parents, providing explanations as they move about of the various locations that they come across, or for use on field trips to present details and interactive activities at various locations. In a more controlled way, we can use beacons. Now these provide triggers to mobile devices when the device enters a particular range determined um, by, the, by the beacon. And it then sends particular information to the mobile device. At a shorter range, we have RFID chips. Now these work in a similar manner. You've got little chips or RFID tags or swipe cards and they're sending off a small amount of information that can be picked up by an RFID reader or an RFID reader that can be attached to an Arduino and mobile devices can then react to the presence of these tags or the tags can um, cause a computer to react in different ways such as students could use um, the RFID chips to quickly take attendance as they enter the classroom, swiping their RFID cards or chips over a sensor as we do on buses and trains at the moment. The important point is working out how to actually solve problems using these technologies. And together with the whole range of other technologies available to them through digital technologies and their studies, identifying problems that they can solve in this case, related to the geographic location of themselves or their devices 
come up with new and innovative solutions to problems using this understanding.